So is London really that dangerous? Let's break it down, fam. So as you lot know already, man, work up in people's yards up in Northampton. And I don't even need to tell them that I'm from London, you know. But when I phone them up, I'll speak two, three words to them. They already know. I had a woman say to me, after I spoke to her on the phone, because I phoned up the people then before I go to their yard, just to let them know I'm coming. She told me after she got off the phone to me, she put the phone down and she said to her daughter, I guarantee you he's going to be a black man and he's going to be from London. As I jumped out of my car, car, I don't drive a van, I drive a car. As I got out of my van and was approaching her bungalow, she was standing outside talking to her daughter and she said, see what I mean? Like that, fam. So anyway, some of the people them asked me, it could be an old woman, it could be a young man, it could be one of the men them. They asked me, oh, is London really that dangerous and that? And I just have to break something down to them. So the only reason why there's so many crime reports, so many stabbings and so many shootings in London is because our population is so high. It's such a densely populated place. I say to them, what place is going to have a higher crime rate? A city that has a population of 1 million or a city that has a population of 20 million? They say 20 million. That's the only reason why London has such a high crime rate. That's the only reason why there's so much stabbings and shootings, blood. It's because our population is a lot higher, a lot denser. So for the most part, London ain't dangerous. It's only dangerous if you're in the game, fam. What's the game? It ain't no video game. It ain't nothing that you switch on and you get me there's a joystick and a joypad. Nah, fam. You don't really get a second chance at this game, blood. So let me just break down this thing. So man's from Edmonton. I go back on the weekends and that. So, I've got a chicken and chip shop that I go to in Wood Green. So, certain times, man, would drive through Tottenham. But it's easier if I just go through Wood Green. But there was one time I wanted to just drive through Tottenham. So, anyway, man, I was driving through Tottenham now. And I thought, you know what? Let me just pass, let me just pass through Broadwater Farm. That's man's old workplace and that. Let me just drive through Broadwater Farm. Let's see what the farm is saying. So, man's driving through and that. And... I can get away with just driving through farm. I can get away with just walking around Broadwater Farm. Man's 31 years old. Them little young youths now nah, that's running the place and that, they don't know who man is, blood. But I couldn't have gotten away with just walking through Broadwater Farm when I was 18, 19 years old. No fucking way, blood. Man will try to G-check me. I'll tell them where I'm from and it's straight on, blood. Broadwater Farm was such a slip for man. It's not even that, like, I had little one, two runnings with couple man there. But just where I'm from, it was a slip for man. It was such a slip for man. I went for a job interview in Broadwater Farm. A man had to arm myself with something. I don't even want to say, I don't want this video getting taken down off of TikTok and that. Because TikTok is real sensitive. But I had to arm myself with something in my laptop bag. Imagine sitting in a job interview with something in your laptop bag. Because where you're having the job interview is a slip. Right? So... I can get away with get me being 30 years old, whatever, walking around Broadwater Farm, driving around Broadwater Farm and that because I'm not in the game. But back in the day when man was all 17, 18, 19, I was in the game. Nah, that can't run, fam. All it takes is the wrong set of eyes to see a man, a man are getting on the phone and it's peak blood. But even if you grow up on the ends, you're not forced into the game by default. You create the reality you live in. I was going to say... You are a victim, but man don't want to use the V word. Man never used the victim word. You're subjected to the reality that you create. So if you put yourself in that game, oh, you're going to feel the repercussions of playing that game, fam. You've got the area and you've got the ends. You've got Tottenham, you've got 1-7 and 1-5. You've got Wood Green and you've got 22nd side. You've got Edmonton and you've got N9, formerly known as Shanktown. I'll give you the perfect example of one person living in an area and one person being a part of the ends, although it's the exact same geographical location. I've got a little brother. He's six, seven years younger than me. Me and him born, live and grow in the same yard, blood. But our realities were completely different. The things that I've experienced, he's never and never will experience. Do you know why? Because he just lived in the area. I lived in the ends, blood. You see, my little brother, he's from Edmonton. But I'm from Green City, fam. Why do you think man wear this green hoodie? 
Think about it. <laughs> Who has a green hoodie, fam? How many men you know wear a green hoodie, fam? I've had this hoodie since I was 17, coming like 14 years, blood. I was a part of the ends, blood. I was a part of the get me green gang only there, yeah. Man was a part of that blood. So the things that I was subjected to, come on, I don't want to use the V word. The things that I was subjected to is because I was a part of the ends and I weren't just someone just living in the area. So London's only dangerous if you put yourself in that environment. I've been stabbed, I've been to prison, man's been rushed. Man's done all of it, fam. Gone up to country and that. My little brother's done none of that. Do you know why? Because he just lived in the area and he wasn't a part of the ends, fam. So London is not a dangerous place. It's a dangerous place only if you put yourself in the ends. Trust me, if you really are a part of this ends thing and you really are involved in this game, your reality is completely different, fam. Like it's something so simple that just going to Wood Green High Street could be the difference between life or death, blood. You could get two youths, one of them, and they're both from Tottenham. One of them is a nerd, he's a good youth, he never leaves his house. Nobody knows where he's from. If he told someone he's from Leicester, they will believe him. He don't even have that street accent. You understand what I'm trying to say? If you told that youth that he's from Tottenham, who is a nerd, go to Wood Green High Street and stand up in front of JD Sports for a whole hour. Just stand there. Even if you paid him. You'll be cool, you'll be calm. You take a you who's really involved in this road thing, who's really got ops in Wood Green. You take a Tottenham boy that's wanted by the Wood Green youth and that. If he had to stand up outside JD Sports on Wood Green High Street, that could be death for him. Imagine you take two youths, same age, from the same area, they look similar, but just because one's involved himself in one particular reality, it could be the difference between life or death, blood. Imagine, you could have civilians just walking down Tottenham High Street, yeah? Tottenham High Road and that. They're not involved in nothing, so this is cool walking down Tottenham High Road and that. You could not put a wood green you on Tottenham High Road and he'll feel safe, blood. No way, fam. The only thing I will say, if you go to London, like, just avoid them rough council states. But why would you be going there? If you don't know no one, why are you going to London Fields? Why are you going Pembury Estate? Why are you going Yellow Brick Estate? Why are you going Angel Town for? You know what I'm saying? You don't know no one there, innit? But London's cool. Obviously, don't be flashing no big chain, no Rolex, no 30 grand AP watch. Because man, I don't want to appeal you. Yeah, man will just come out of nowhere, fam. Yeah, I remember before them little youths, they was riding around on the motorbikes, the mopeds and that. Going around and robbing people. I'm sure Amir Khan got robbed and that. And I'm seeing videos, man getting held up at gunpoint in their car. I think it was Crystal Palace's football manager or something. He got robbed in his car for his watch. So, yeah, man, for the most part, London ain't dangerous, man. London's cool, blood. Just stay off the council states. Don't be a part of the game. Get me? You can calm, blood.